And these are the best bodybuilding vlogs Russo has ever put out right so austin has made this a very interactive series i hope to see you over on the vlog channel but the drug content will stay here what is up everyone it's russo i hope everyone is doing well today's asmr sip is sponsored by 1907 check out 1907.com in the description coupon code russo Let's not forget about the ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elephant Carbon coupon code Russo. Today I'm going to be reacting to the latest vlog that my secondary editor, Austin, who's sitting over there, did. Please check out the vlog channel. This is the Straight Edge Vanilla channel that will be hosting all my vlogs. Gonna do the drug content here. Gonna do the regular content on the vlog channel. So please subscribe with the bell on. And it's been a lot of fun. Me and Austin are interacting with everyone who went over there with the comments. And we have had a lot of fun building the momentum before I prep for the show, right? So this is me getting back in shape and I told everyone I was utilizing IGF-1 LR3. I wanted to showcase the recomp physique without dropping a single pound. I weighed in at 246 pounds in the morning and at night I'm approaching 249. So I did not I actually gained a little bit of weight while redoing my physique. Whole point was I didn't want to rush down and shred down and look like shit when I didn't have any of my strength back or nothing off that gyno surgery. I was stubborn as shit. I want to do it when all the cards are right and when I can make the content. Now that that's all happened, we are seeing me come back down and I will be trimming up for the Mr. Olympia. Me and Andrew will be going to the Mr. Olympia to hang out with Kenny KO and Jack West. So give me some ideas in the comments below on what you want to see me do with them, as well as I am currently going to recomp, rush down to like 233, and then, you know, see how I look there after sitting up at almost 250, redoing my physique for the bazillionth time. I'm going to be entering a prep once I get to 225, 227. That will put me in striking range for my first ever classic physique show. No, I don't think I'm a genetic freak here, but overall, I wanted to document my first ever show and I wanted to be in the right mental headspace as well as have the team behind me to capitalize on the content of the first show and interlace all of this together with the normal drug content while being able to grow the straight edge channel so now that everyone has that insight let's get into the latest vlog austin did my biggest fear shredding too fast and struggling with appetite andrew and austin saw that i'm just like not eating as much as i used to you know i feel like i put on all this size in my younger years and i'm definitely ready to have a normal looking face for the first time in four years. So like, oh, like your face changed. It's like, have you ever tried to be? So this is me bitching about <laughs> redoing my physique as well as what I was utilizing to get back to where I was, meaning that my body fat is not optimal obviously right i'm not dumb i'm not delusional people put words in my mouth in the comments and it's like where did i say that go find where i said it no one actually clips what i say they just put words in my mouth i was stubborn and recomping i think a lot of people think that you need to lose weight right when you are fat and you have accepted the risk of being an enhanced athlete if you accepted the risk of being an enhanced athlete you can just match the androgen level to the weight you're at and recomposition aka i've already been like that at 250 at 23 years old my body doesn't forget that i'm just not currently anywhere near the androgen level to support that but i'm trying to creep it up while not getting too big again you know i haven't skyrocketed over 250 pounds didn't do any of that bullshit i've been sitting around 245 really grinding to get the strength back so when i cut i just maintain the strength and the muscle tissue 
use sticks. I don't have to, oh, I'm like way weaker and I'm already shredding and then the muscle is going to atrophy because I can't maintain the strength because I had no strength base because I came off the gyno surgery. That's all the bullshit in the front of the vlog. As far as the dosages go, 350 milligrams of testosterone a week, as well as I did a little bit of S23. I did a little bit of super draw. I did a little bit of Anivar. And then overall, I really, really worked on using tons of IGF-1 LR3 to aid in fat loss instead of 677, which puts even more water on me. I was using the IGF to recomp the physique quickly and then throwing in a bunch of orals, seeing what worked for me while not blasting my socks off at this weight, saving all that for when I actually prep, right? The goal is not to stress my body out to the max before doing this prep. That has been long overdue. So I really got to give Austin to it. The entire vlog with the transitions of the training footage really goes above and beyond. And we will be featuring Austin a lot in the vlog channel and he will be doing a lot of the interacting in the comments. So please check out the vlog channel to get featured in the next vlog. But I do want to show his training edit. As far as the training goes, I am now training like a bodybuilder. Remember, I was training like a power builder, right? Doing a lot of strength, central nervous system work. Most of my early 20s, not training like a bodybuilder at all. The switch has happened. You're seeing me do very slow, controlled contractions while maintaining peak blood concentration in the said muscle I'm trying to train, trying to trap blood in there, cause hypertrophy, do higher rep sets to actually activate more hypertrophy. This is Personally, the way I find boring to train, just like a pain tolerance thing, it doesn't really equate into an athletic or fighter physique, which I like to prefer being explosive, having a lot of power. This is more of the, you know, bubbly volumizing while still obviously getting stronger. That's the type of training I'm doing nowadays. So <laughs> no one can make the like, I can't make the excuse anymore. Well, I'm not even training like a bodybuilder. Finally, I am training like a bodybuilder. So you can see I'm still low rowing the entire stack, right? This just because I'm training like a bodybuilder doesn't mean I'm going heavy. It's how I'm moving the weight. I'm controlling the weight now. I'm no longer going for sheer explosiveness, fast twitch firing, central nervous system firing. I'm loading the muscle and then I'm doing this is like the top set Austin's got me recorded of the entire stack, but I'm drop setting to half the stack and then going way deeper into failure. This is how you train on enhancement, right? When you're enhanced, you have to go above and beyond. This is the problem with people who just randomly go on gears they still train normally you have to go way deeper into quotation marks failure if you're training like a bodybuilder or doing high volume style training So you see I'm doing slow controlled negatives. So I've been around a ton of IFBB pros in my life during my enhanced athlete days of being sponsored. I know how IFBB pro trainers train their clients. I know how different it is from how you see regular people training in the gym. When I'm doing that slow controlled negative with a fast peak contraction, this is at the very end after already doing two drop sets. As I'm burning it out more, I'm trapping even more blood because 
because I'm enhanced. And I'm pushing that IGF-1 LR3 into my back to reactivate and recomposition my body without having to draw up significant amounts of weight. I want to already have this tissue, this epigenetic response to this training already associated with my body before I start starving it into oblivion. Another pro tip that you can see me doing is I am hook gripping. I'm not using my thumbs. So if I would wrap my thumb around, it would be using forearm, more bicep. I'm focusing on my elbow as a hook and I'm trying to load it all on my back. There's a pro tip. So my back is very wide. I'm very happy with my rear delt progress. Obviously my crappy chest insertions I cannot fix, but my back width has come back, right? I was a tub of lard last year around this time at pretty much the same weight, completely off getting gyno surgery. This is a night and day difference from last year with losing zero weight. Yes, recompositioning is possible. I've done it multiple times on this channel without having to drop significant amounts of weight. I would actually be more frustrated right now if I weighed 220 instead of rebuilding at this weight, then coming down. If I just rushed down there, I would literally look like how I did when I was like 21, 22. So so had to rebuild up here. Your traps are at the point where they're good, right? Yeah, they're good. When I hit that fucking crab, it's yeah. like the whole... But like I watched that Tom Hardy movie when I was younger. <laughs> Look at the vein shooting out of my traps. <laughs> Austin has like this perfect angle of like fucking Bane veins coming out of them. So again, my tip with traps and you can see my crab. My traps are very overdeveloped. I always wanted to have overdeveloped traps, but the way I got them is using extreme tension and weight. So I have the Shrug machine maxed out. Me and Austin stack 25s on top of it maxed out for me to be able to seated shrug it, which that's the flex. It's not the flex if you can stand and shimmy it up with your legs. I'm seated shrugging it, super setting with standing shrugging it, and then drop setting down and doing like real bodybuilder contractions after my traps are already nuked from the extreme weight. This is how I've grown my traps into the crab pose I have today. So I did my strength compounder. I did that heavy low row, did a lot of warming up. Now I'm in the high volume FST7. I'll have Andrew throw up FST7 by Hanny Rambot. So this is a enhanced bodybuilding way of training. And that's what I'm focusing towards now. And Austin has captured, I have no neck from how pumped my traps are. So 
So once again, I'm focusing on like a full stretch, very harsh contraction, controlling the negative and trying to peak the blood volume because when I'm enhanced on this IGF, the pump is actually batshit painful and insane. And I'm trying to drive all that into the right body part, AKA the body part I'm training, AKA I don't want this shit in my intestines. I want all the blood in the muscle I'm training and breaking down rapidly. So this is enhanced bodybuilding training. Andrew edited the video of how to train as a natural. I would not copy this. And some of my peak natty looks were achieved by completely opposite styles of strength training and central nervous system work. We are seeing the transition of Russo into the bodybuilder these next three years. So just keep that in mind that this is the very start and that I'm not 200 pounds, right? I'm 250 pounds in this video and on the classic physique stage, again, theoretically aiming for 195. 200 pounds flat. So keep all these variables in mind on seeing this starting point before shit gets real on this channel. So there's my front double after destroying breaking down my biceps and then my lats are very pumped for 250 pounds i'm pretty impressed at the separation i do have considering i want to weigh around 220 pounds decently like my maintenance weight in my mind is like 220 to 225 that's it i don't really want to walk around at these heavy weights i'm up at these heavy weights to build a ton of tissue to bring back down to 220 and reactivate it so this is the front double and overall i am very impressed with how this shot looks compared to how it you know it was basically non-existent all last year i didn't even want to look at myself in the mirror so there you can see my ridiculously overpowering traps. I am personally fine with having very overdeveloped traps as I will just try and bring up the upper chest as best I can and then just makes me overdevelop my delts even more. But for those who want the most aesthetic physique, I probably should lay off the traps a tad and target front medial doubt even more to give myself more of a you know an hourglass look versus these traps kind of throwing off the flow of my physique but again i'm just like the play-doh boy with all the moldable muscle mass that is not mature once i bring it down to 220 pounds and really start focusing on symmetry and separation we're gonna see me make critiques to my training as well as just get professional coaching oversight on my training this whole bitch ass the Backle is like <laughs> i lost my physique last year and me being taken seriously they don't care how you've looked previously no one cares about all my previous looks it's just how i currently look which is black pill accepted but i wanted to be taken more seriously get back to a normal moldable stature before really you know have an oversight considering i was told to just rapidly shred down before rebuilding and overall that would leave me more frustrated so i am very glad that this is how my current composition looks walking around 250 during the day 244 245 waking up So again, my legs are looking great. Calves looking great. Rear delts are there. <laughs> I had non-existent rear delts for the longest time. And in the other vlog, Austin shot, we touch on one of the key exercises I've done to bring up my rear delts. The bird chest, which we have the bird chest chronicles on my vlog channel. It is what it is. I'm gonna try and fix my chest as much as I can, but it comes down to insertions. Even Micah Hearn has bad chest insertions. It's just something I deal with. And the back width is coming along. Obviously I could use more thickness. I feel like everyone could use more thickness but my actual hourglass shape is coming along nicely
So I definitely am excited to go to the Olympia and pose next to some other influencers so you guys can get a visualization of how I am next to some of your favorite influencers. I will be trimming up the face fat for the Olympia and I'll be dropping again probably 235 realistically my carbs are extremely low and me and austin are about to go shoot a low carb back day for you guys but what i wanted to wrap up is the igf1 lr3 paid it also paid for me not to starve my body continue feeding my body repairing my metabolism and overall trying to creep the androgen level up just enough to match this amount of lean body mass at this body weight without doing a full prep cycle which would wreck biomarkers sure the orals on top are gonna wreck my biomarkers a little bit but it's not like i'm redlining i'm not redlining to get back at this physique it was very very difficult to get my body to adapt to training like this it does not happen overnight you have to build yourself up to the volume right when you see these ifbb pros do this extreme volume they normally have again deloads back off weeks and they've been been at that volume for a while and it's time to start starving the body i'm finally comfortable with starving the body hardcore i wasn't really eating like crazy i'm gonna be honest my metabolism was very badly damaged and i was doing tons of cardio to reactivate it but i did not want to starve the body try and regain strength while the body starved and then switch into hypertrophy once the body's fucking freaked out starved and the strength didn't come all the way back just took way longer than expected but it's a blessing because austin was not a part of the team and these are the best bodybuilding vlogs russo has ever put out right so austin has made this a very interactive series i hope to see you over on the vlog channel but the drug content will stay here so as always if you guys want me to discuss more about my cycle or what you have questions on comment it below and i will buzz in and fill you guys in on anything you want to know but i was switching out orals left and right seeing what was working and overall s23 is an oral i like to recomposition with and overall i was the pills very Doughboy, and you can see separation walking around at 249. So I will see you guys in my next video.